Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on in to a LEGO news video. There's a lot to cover today, but regardless, the first bit of info is actually for the announcement of LEGOCON. LEGOCON is going to be back on June the 18th and uh, there is going to be reveals and uh, I really hope because Inland, we wrote up so many suggestions of just what went wrong last year, what, while, what our expectations were going into the event, and I hope that they have learned from that. This is the perfect opportunity, really, to make this event great, and I think I, I've talked a lot about that last year. Um, this has such a great potential. Really, it really does, and I know that last year a lot of people hate on it. The very best part and the most uh, revealing part, I guess I would say, was the Minecraft panel. I'll stand by that being the best panel they had all day there, um, because they actually made some announcements of upcoming stuff uh, that we didn't know about. So, with this, hopefully, nothing leaks beforehand what they're planning to do, and I hope that they actually do some proper reveals this time. It is the 90 year anniversary for LEGO, and I think it would be awesome if they were to reveal the 90 year set there and just like go all out. This is really their opportunity. They can do so much. Think of all the viewers I know at least that we had here on my channel uh, watching it last time. I can only imagine if they actually made this a proper thing every year and did reveals like and from the video that uh, you've seen here uh, just to quickly go through the list of stuff they're going to talk about and show off. We've got Lightyear, Friends, Harry Potter, Ideas, Marvel Studios, Ninjago, which they used the Ninjago Master of Spinjitzu logo, which hasn't been called that in years or using that logo. So anyways, Minecraft again, Technic, Star Wars, Brickheads, and Mario. Now I don't expect reveals for all these things, although there are a lot that still need to be revealed, especially when it comes to direct-to-consumer sets. Like, we could we could literally see, and I, this is just ideation. This is just a pipe dream of, we could see the Harry Potter DTC, the Office, maybe. We could see the Lighthouse for that. We could see the Marvel $500 set, or maybe it's superheroes, and it's DC. The Star Wars DTC, the Mario DTC, there's a lot here that we still can see. So hopefully, again, reveals. Let's do it, Lego. Let's let's hit this thing out of the park. Let's let's set a good precedent for the following years to come. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of LegoCon being back? Are you going to join us here on the 18th? I'd love to have you. So make sure that uh, you subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on that. And uh, there is just a lot happening here on the channel this week. Uh, so... So many reviews still to come. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you all on the 18th.